This is a presentation of Fox Sports, IMG, and Gator Vision. One program that has seen tremendous upside in recent years here at the University of Florida is the women's golf squad. That success wouldn't be possible, however, without head coach Emily Glazer. The Ohio native brings a certain passion and grit to the already illustrious program that stems from an early age. I grew up in Ohio in a very small town. Um, and golf, you could say, was kind of in my blood from the beginning. Um, a, a lot of golfers in my family. And then my, my parents own um, a golf course, a nine hole course in Upper Sandusky, Ohio, where I'm from. Um, my dad is a PGA professional. My mom works in the shop. So I'm very grateful for kind of how they got me into the game. It really probably wasn't until college that I knew that I could potentially, you know, play this, uh, play the game after college. I think I just saw myself getting better at every level. So I, as a high school golfer, I got better. And then when I went to college, I got better. And then as a high level amateur, I got better. And I think being able to see that progress was what ultimately said, why don't we give you know the LPGA Tour a shot? So then you go on to play college golf mm -hmm. after a little bit of junior golf. Yep. Take me through that transition when you go from Ohio at home over to Michigan State. Yeah, Michigan State. I, I mean, I, I tell people all the time, I think that's why I'm in college coaching because I had such a great college experience. And it's, I think it's really important to me that our players, you know, we're competitive and we want to win championships. And But I also really want them to have a great college experience like I did. And, and that's a big reason, you know, why I think I'm still involved in the game in this capacity. So when I went to Michigan State, I think that, you know, I had a great support staff around me, people that believed in me. And that really was what I needed at that point in my career to kind of see my game flourish. So we really have poured that into our program here at Florida too. You know, we want to create a positive atmosphere where our players feel like they're getting what they need to succeed in that support. Uh, but we also hold them accountable and, and, you know, try to really shape young women as well as um, good golf games. College golf to professional golf, mm -hmm. spent some time there. And what was the biggest transition with that? Because now you're on your own. Yeah. You're doing your own thing, working on everything from sponsorship to all that stuff. But mm -hmm. what was the biggest transition for you? For me, it was all about a comfort level. I, I think that, um, you know, in college, you've got people telling you where to be and helping you do things. And then, like you said, when you when you become a pro, it's really all falls on your shoulders. You're playing for money, you're playing for your livelihood, and it is a little bit of a different feeling. Um, I, so I think that that's really, you know, what was uh, the biggest transition for me was just getting comfortable at that level and, and understanding that you're actually gonna have a lot of time on your hands and you can't sometimes practice for 12 hours a day. So what, is, what are your hobbies? What, what do you do outside of golf? You know, who really that journey of who you are as a person as you're also trying to become a professional golfer. So um, it was a transition. It's something that I look back and I'm certainly glad um, that I gave it a shot and had some, you know, a relative amount of success and I have no regrets. Um, but I think I knew for me when the time came to hang up the clubs, I say retire, it's kind of a funny word because I think I was in my early 30s, but um, when it came time to retire, I knew it was the right time for that as well. So then at that point, did you know coaching was the next step for you? Um, I didn't know that. The, the story of how I got into coaching is quite funny. Um, I was living in Raleigh, North Carolina with my now husband who had been transferred up there for work and I was studying for the LSAT. I thought I was going to law school. That was always kind of what I had aspired to do. Um, while I was there, the assistant coaching job at, at Duke opened up. Obviously, Duke is a very storied program. And um, I thought, well, at the very least, I want to go check this out and see how it goes. And so I met with Coach Brooks, and he interviewed me, and we hit it off. And, um, you know, kind of right place, right time. He offered me the job, and I thought, well, you know, I could, I could try this and see if law school, you know, 
you know, wait a year or maybe see if I could, you know, do it simultaneously, whatever. But then really once I was there and once I started working with the student athletes, um, I kind of discovered a passion that I didn't really know was there and uh, knew it was something that I could, you know, do long term. Back with more from head coach Emily Glazer right after this. You're a Florida Gator and you're here because you're very talented and there's some expectation that comes along with that. Eye on the Gators, presented by Wells Fargo, is brought to you by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Florida Gators, by Gatorade, fueling today, fueling the future, and by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. There's no doubt that the University of Florida has a brand unlike any other, but just how big is it? Let's find out. I had the, uh, the great opportunity to work here as an assistant for a year before I became the head coach. And so um, I think that in that year, I really sort of discovered what the University of Florida was about. It was really something that was dear to my heart as far as a big athletic program, a lot of successful sports, big football school, something I was a little bit more familiar with, maybe coming from the Big Ten, and I just fell in love with it. And really the people here, and I think the culture that really surrounds all the sports is something that is just like nowhere else I've ever been. I've heard you kind of preach the relationship, friendship, the time away from golf. How much of this is the relationship aspect and how do you keep that fine line between, all right, I need to coach these girls and mm -hmm. make them better, do their thing, not only on the course, but off the course as well? Well, I think it starts with building that relationship from the beginning. And we even tell you know players that we're recruiting that are gonna sign with us that it's important that they feel like we have a really good relationship with them before they even ever step foot on campus as a player. So we take that part of it very serious. I think that if we build that relationship then when a player comes in, we have already have some trust established and then they do look to us for advice on things technically related to their golf game and then they trust us with other aspects of their life as well. I think if we didn't work so hard on establishing that relationship, I would just be someone in their ear giving orders and I really don't want to be that to these players. We really look to be, you know, something more to them. What's the biggest message you give some of these recruits when you go out there at the University of Florida? Everybody knows what it's like to have that mm -hmm. Gator logo and when you step foot inside the recruiting trail, it's a little different. Well, I think that it goes back to the, the character piece and really the relationship. I think they, I think recruits need to understand that if they're coming here, um, there's going to be a lot required of them when it comes to that. You know, we, we want them to be um, open to learning and trying new things. We want them to be good teammates. We want them to be organized and on top of things so they can be successful in anything that they put their mind to when they're here, you know, in the classroom, not just on the golf course. I think we have an incredible advantage here at Florida where we're a great academic institution. I don't think a lot of people realize that. So I think that because we have the best of both worlds where we can offer someone a very reputable degree and and also compete at a championship level. Um, it, it's something that's really exciting and, and so we try to communicate that message to, uh, to incoming players. Talk about the assistance that you're able to work with every single day and the friendships there, relationships that have bonded over the years you've been here. Yeah. Janice Olavencia is our associate head coach. Um, we just promoted her after the historic season that we had this year. It, it really couldn't have gone to someone more deserving. I think that our relationship has really grown. I joke that she's kind of the yin to my yang, like we have different different styles, but at the same time it, it works. And I don't know that I would want someone sitting across from me that is like me. You know, I think that it's because we're different which is what makes us so special. In spite of that, we really have a lot of really similar core beliefs you know, about how we want the program to, to look and what we expect of our players. So we're on the same page through almost everything, even though maybe our style is a little bit different. Where do you want this program to go? Well, I think that, uh, you know, for the beginning years, it was like we were trying to head up this mountain, right? And we were trying to get somewhere. And, and certainly last year was was a turning point for us, um, you know, to win a conference championship in a league that's really difficult, really meant something, and had a fairly good run at nationals as well. So I think we're trending in the direction that we want to go. I think at this time it's about, you know, how do we keep that going? You know, how do we continue to recruit the right players who, who believe in what we're doing and want to see that 
success sustained over a long period of time. I think you know you're gonna have ups and downs, but it's what can we do um, every year to put ourselves in a position to be relevant and when you know when that time of year rolls around. So we really you know want to focus in on that and then just making sure that we're we're graduating players and that we're um, supporting them, you know, as they journey from college to the next phase of life. I think I'm, I've been here long enough now, I'm starting to see players getting married and having children and going to LPGAQ school. And just, you know, we're seeing the, the backside of it too. And it's, it's quite rewarding. The historic season you had last year, the facilities no doubt play a role in that mm -hmm. with you guys being able to have a course that's right next to campus but yeah. how big of an advantage is that yeah it's really I think as uh, the longer I'm here the more I appreciate you know the convenience and the access to our facilities which is you know huge advantage for our, our players I think there's a lot of good facilities in the country but we really do a good job of making sure that they're in tip-top shape every day and so that when you get back there you're practicing on greens that are preparing you to play tournament golf we really have a championship level golf course out there because it's a challenging golf course. You know, the fact that it's kind of ours. I mean, it's our golf course where, you know, we don't have to wait in line for a tea time on Saturday morning. It's just really nice to know that you have that type of place to call your home, uh, you know, while you're here at Florida. You guys came knocking on the door last year, being so close. How much can you now take that momentum into this season, especially with the girls that you're going to have? That's what we're hoping to do, you know, kind of ride that momentum. We learned a lot last year making it to match play at Nationals. It was the first time for us as a coaching staff, and although that might be a little bit underrated, I think it was a big deal for Janice and I. Just, you know, now we kind of know what's out there. And so it'll help us be better off when we prepare this year and when we, you know, when we try to peak at the right time. So I think having that under our belt and just having that experience is really gonna help us in the long run. You know, we have a young team this year. We lost three great seniors out of a five person team. You know, we always kind of laugh at, at the end of the day, no one really cares that you're a young team. You know, you're a Florida Gator and, and you're here because you're very talented. And um, there's some expectation that comes along with that. So we just try to get better every day use the experience that we have, um, you know, to be the best that we can be, um, you know, come April and May. Back with more Eye on the Gators, right after this. The well, one thing that they say is you, know, you want to play with the best to be the best, and it's a really great tool for us to sharpen our games and get ready for this postseason that's coming up. This segment is brought to you by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. Well, we've heard from head coach Emily Glazer about the Florida Gator program, but what about the student athletes? Let's hear what they have to say about the Gator brand. Hey Gators, out here at Mark Bostic Golf Course, I'm Jacob Lovelace, now joined by Sierra Brooks and Taylor Tomlinson. Guys, I just want to know what's so great about being a Florida Gator? Uh, you know, there's a lot to be, that's great to be a Florida Gator, and you know, first of all, just to be a part of such an elite program and getting to compete as a Gator, you know, there's nothing that you know means more to me than being able to put on that blue and orange. So, yeah, I think um, aside from just everything being great at the school, you know, academics, athletics, just having the Gator Nation as well. You know, you're in the airports, you're um, hearing people say "Go Gators" at you. Just having that Gator Nation, no matter what, you always have that. I think is pretty special. And Sarah, you mentioned when you become a Florida Gator, there's great competition. What about playing against that great competition brings the best out in you guys? Uh, it definitely does. Uh, you know, that's the one thing that they say is, you know, you want to play with the best to be the best, and we're definitely getting to do that. We play with some of the best teams in the SEC and, you know, all around the country. So it's a really great tool for us to sharpen our games and get ready for this postseason that's coming up. Especially having such a great guys team as well, um, playing with the guys, playing with the girls. We're both really elite teams. Um, so being able to compete against each other and then seeing other sports being so elite, it really just pushes you to be your best. Taylor, you mentioned it's not just golf here, also a great education with a top 10 public university. How cool is it to have things like the Hawkins Center and just have a great education to go along with the golf? It's awesome. Golf, you're always on the road doing things, but they really make it the easiest as possible to succeed in whatever you want. You have 
every opportunity um, that you could ask for to be successful in whatever major you want uh, with the Hawkins Center, with your advisors, uh, professors are really helpful, you know, um, working around your schedule, so it's been great. And something that's not necessarily the norm for college golf is the golf course right here on campus. How cool is that that you just come from class and you got the golf course right here? It's amazing. It's the most convenient thing for us. We were just able to zip out after class and start practicing right away. And, you know, from practice we go to play and it's great. We're really able to push each other and make each other better that way. Obviously in Florida, it's sunny like today. You get to play all year. How cool is that? And is that a factor into the decision to come in here? 100%. Yeah, definitely. Being able to play year round is huge. And the only downside of Gainesville is it rains a lot. And we have hitting bays that are perfect for it. You can practice even in the rain, so it's great. There's no reason why you, you won't be able to practice here. Yeah. So I really think this course tests our games. It requires all kinds of shots in order to play out here. and. Um, it's kind of different from most Florida courses. The greens have some undulation and they're pretty tricky. And, but I think I feel well prepared um, playing here for every tournament. Playing for coaches like Coach Glazer and Coach Janice, what have they brought out in your game since becoming a Gator? They've taught me a lot so far. You know, they both played professional golf, so they've been able to help us with the mental side of the game and just how to be you know, the best players we can be out on the course. And I really trust them, and I feel like I'm learning a lot from them. Yeah, I think they have a great balance, too. Um, Emily's a little bit more reserved, more meticulous, and Janice is outgoing and free. And to have both of those on the golf course and off the golf course, uh, it pushes you to better yourself in all aspects. Taylor's been here a while as a senior, so what did you see when Sierra came here right when she got here? Oh, just her work ethic for sure. Um, you know, on the golf course she's always practicing, off the golf course she's looking to work out, she's looking, you know, to do homework. It's non-stop for her and I've seen that within the team too, pushing everyone um, and it's been a great addition. And Sierra, for you, what stood out about Taylor when you came here? She's been a great team leader for us and just her personality. She brings so much energy to the team and positiveness to this team as well. Uh, she brings, you know, her smile, I think, like brightens us all and just uh, for, you know, gives the energy to the team for us to, you know, keep pushing forward. And uh, we're really lucky we have such a great person on our team. It's going to be <laughs> sad whenever she goes. I wish I had more time with her, that's for sure. <laughs> Back with more Eye on the Gators, right after this. So our first stops here are gonna be at the Fuel Bar. This is where I personally come in between classes to grab a snack. Here we have our workout facilities here at UF. It is a three minute walk from the dorms and a five minute walk from the golf course. This segment has been brought to you by Gatorade. Fueling today, fueling the future. Eye on the Gators, presented by Wells Fargo, is brought to you by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Florida Gators, by Gatorade, fueling today, fueling the future, and by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. Hey guys, my name's Addie Baggerly. I'm a sophomore here at the University of Florida, and I play on the women's golf team, and we're going to take a facilities tour today, and first, we're going to start out here at the Hawkins Center. So our first stops here are going to be at the Fuel Bar. This is where I personally come in between classes to grab a snack. And I like to come here before practice just to get fueled up and know that I'm ready to go. Can I get a coconut almond bar, please? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now that we're fueled up, let's head over to the computer labs to see what they've got going upstairs. Okay, so this is our second stop of the day. This is a computer lab here at Hawkins. It's where we keep all of our Macs. We have about 30 computers here. There's always a spot open for us. We always come in here when we need to get last minute schoolwork done or we need to print something off just to make sure we're all prepared for our classes. So we're finished here at the Hawkins Center. Now let's go check out some of the other facilities we've got here at UF. So our next stop on our tour is the Swamp. This place holds a special place in my heart. I've been coming to game days here ever since I was a little girl. Our team tries to make it every Saturday. Guys, welcome to the Swamp. These are my boys, Tim, Steve, and Danny. Fun fact, there's three Heisman winners here at UF. 
These are our three. So here we have our workout facilities here at UF. It is a three minute walk from the dorms and a five minute walk from the golf course. We do personalized golf workouts three days a week at 6 a.m. Now that we're done here, let's take a look at our golf facility. So our golf course here at UF is a championship caliber golf course right on campus. It is only about an eight minute walk from the dorms and we are fortunate enough to have all of our practice facilities out there, our locker room, and one amazing golf course. It is very convenient for us that we have some of the best facilities in Florida. Our practice facility has three chipping greens in the back. We have two hitting bays in the, in the back as well, and a two-tier driving range, and the golf course gives us an opportunity to use every club in our bag, which gives us great preparation going into every tournament. Here at UF, we have two TrackMans that we are fortunate enough to use every day and whenever we want to use them. It helps us get our numbers and our data together, and we can also video our swings to make sure we are in tip-top shape. The clubhouse holds the majority of our trophies, which includes our most recent SEC Championship trophy in 2017. The clubhouse is where a lot of the golf team hangs out, which we can do anything from study there to our ping pong tournaments get really intense. And it's just a great place for us to go and enjoy our afternoons if we have an afternoon off. Thank you guys for visiting our facilities here at UF. This is the part where I got to kick you guys out. Go Gators. For more information on the program as a whole, be sure to check out FloridaGators.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. This segment has been brought to you by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports, IMG, and Gator Vision.